first of all, uh, congrats to St. Thomas More. I mean, tons of talent, let's be honest. They, they got great players. Uh, they play well together. They do everything right, and uh, they deserve to win tonight for sure. Um, I'll also say, I couldn't be more proud of my guys. Uh, we went through a stretch in the second quarter that um, we just couldn't get buckets and we couldn't get rebounds. And um, part of it was because of their size, part of it was um, I put the blame on me. We, they had a big three at the end of the first quarter. Um, I can't remember who it was, 22 or Henderson or somebody hit a three at the buzzer. We were up 13 to eight and we were playing the triangle and two defense. And they hit that and uh, kind of changed the game. I think they would have gone in at the end of the first quarter thinking about the triangle too and the open looks that they were missing. And, and uh, we came out of the triangle and went man. And they started getting buckets and uh, it changed the game. But um, folks on the positive, I couldn't be more proud of my guys. I mean, these two guys up here with me, where Dakota Valley basketball was when they came into high school to where it is today, being up here, um, I couldn't be more proud of them. Love them to death. How much of a factor was their tournament experience? Oh, it was big. It was big. I think once they started making their run, uh, I can tell you myself, there was about at halftime, there were about four things that I, I, I was mad at myself that we should have done different. And I think if, uh, uh, if we had had a little more tournament experience, everybody, we, we maybe would have uh, withstood that run a little bit better. Um, you know, they've been here before. Um, that always makes a difference, especially when it's a, a tough battle like it was that first, second quarter. And, uh, you know, once we had to play catch-up, we didn't, we didn't quit, but, you know, we, we, that's not our game, is playing catch-up like that. We're, we're better, and we're the aggressor, and we're putting the heat on other people, and we just, we just weren't able to get in that position. You guys kind of operate under the radar all year, you know, and nobody really noticed you how good you guys really were, I think, you know, yeah. and you made it all the way to the championship game. I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. It, 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 I, th I think we're proud of the year. We're disappointed that today. Um, the thing I'm thrilled with is, uh, we talked about this last week, is how our community is rallied around this team and these guys. And um, I don't think, uh, maybe at the beginning of the year, the last couple of years, we don't have crowds that haven't even been that huge at our home games. And this year, people really started rallying around these kids and this team, and, and it just started building on itself. And, and here we are today, coming up a few points short at the end. Coach, what does that say about your team? That I mean, you shoot 35% in a game, and they're up se almost 70%. But, you know, it was only a seven-point game, and you had a couple open looks at the end. Could have brought it closer. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, I think uh, if you would have told me that we'd shoot like that and we'd go through that stretch, or I don't know the numbers, but we went through that stretch in the second quarter and we already scored, I would have said St. Thomas Moore would have blown us out, and they would have, uh, uh, we would have been able to come back. And, it's just a credit to these kids, their will to win, and their uh, competitive nature, and uh, I couldn't be prouder of them. Can you talk a little bit about the, uh, the start of the fourth quarter? We're down 11, hit a couple of quick buckets, suddenly got it down five, really showing a lot of intensity at that point. Yeah, you know, um, we, 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 were, we, were, we were back in it, and uh, there were a couple things we missed, like anything, you know, we, we had things go our way too, but there were a couple things that almost went our way, a couple shots, a couple things, a couple looks, where uh, it, we, had, we did have a chance. And uh, it's crazy, because I don't know, we were down 16 points. 16. 16, and, um, and we told the kids, let's get a few passes, and we, got, we, we, we did, were able to draw some fouls and get the double bonus, and we're great free throw shooters. So I said, let's attack that basket. They're gonna try not to foul us. And uh, our kids did that, and then that opened up the three once we had did that, and started hitting some threes after that, and gosh darn, we almost pulled it off. But um, St. Thomas Moore is really good. They, uh, they don't give you much. I was going to say, you guys get down to five there in the fourth, and then uh, Warwick hits that pretty highly contested three there. And then, uh, obviously, with this group, with the percentage that you guys shoot, probably not a ton of bad shots, but did you feel like you guys got a little bit impatient trying to, to match that? Um, towards the end there, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we did. Um, and, and our message to the kids was, we're going to try to attack the basket, really. And there were three or four possessions, and, and you know, Brody and Ginko was hitting three, so I'm not going to fault anybody for, for shooting them at all. I probably would have done the same thing if I'm hitting them like he is. But our intention was to attack the basket every time, get twos, and exchange that for, you know, follow them or, uh, 
make them make a turnover and, and take our chances. But it didn't happen. That's a tough situation. We we've we've never been great in that situation because of our our uh, uh, the way we like to play is better when we're ahead when we can put the heat on people. Yes. Was there anything you could have done to have opened up late a little bit more? I mean, they just were glued on the uh, other. Yes, there was. There were. It, it, their coaching staff, and I told the guys this for the game, does the best job of scouting probably uh, of uh, anybody I've seen. They, they, and I knew that coming in, that they would know our plays, and they did. And uh, it was tough to get shots off. We, we should have made a few more adjustments, probably set a few more picks for them to get going. The other thing is, we're an energy team, and I could, I, Blake was tired tonight. He was tired. He, uh, when he had open looks, he didn't hit them. He usually does. Well, I've found the stretcher, he's been hitting them. Three days in a row. In South Dakota tournaments, it's tough when you're an energy team, and I knew that going in that that'd be tough. And we should have rotated kids a little more, kept them a little fresher, and, that, and that's also my mistake. We should have definitely done that. Yeah. I got a question, especially for the players, especially for you, Brock. You seem like you're really feeding off the energy of the crowd. Was that a special atmosphere to play on in the state tournament, game like that? Uh, no, not really. I mean, it's fun to get the crowd involved, but honestly, it's just us players to put the difference in the game. Um, yeah, the crowd, it, when we're on fire, they put it there, but when we're not, they aren't. So, I mean, it's just us. I know it's tough to lose with this game, Brock, but just talk about you know, the way the season's going, the way you've, you've pretty much put, put Dakota Valley basketball on the map this year. I mean, you know, that it was had to be a, a fun ride for you. Fun experience. Uh, everybody on this team, coaches, players, all of the students, just a loving experience. Uh, we all love each other, the players and the coaches, especially. Just the experience was awesome. Um, coming into the state tournament for 12 years and then beating Clark Willow Lake and then advancing on to the state championship after beating. Uh, everything around Kali was just amazing. It, it was just an awesome experience. Colin, same question. Oh uh, yeah. Um, since it's been so long, and we none of us on the team have ever been in this state tournament. It's kind of a crazy experience. How everyone came and they started cheering for us. They wanted us to win, like we were the underdogs, hoping we could come out on top. And we almost had it. Thanks guys. Thank you guys. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. Thanks guys.